Nintendo. <laughs> Camelot. <laughs> wow. How do you like it? Okay. So shiny. Oh, hi. Luigi. Hey, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Doki. What is up everybody? My name is Jeremy, also known as Jay Juggler today. And this is not a new Let's Play. This is not a playthrough. This is not a walkthrough. This is not a co-op. This is not a collab. This is something that I'm finally doing by myself. Something that I haven't done in a while is actually do some footage on my own other than Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. So, just like I said, this is not a Let's Play. This is me just saying, you know what? I want to play a game that I've been playing and been addicted to for about, I want to say like two days. Literally been playing this shit non-stop on top of Animal Crossing, trying to like do some shit on there. I actually just unlocked Terraforming today, off topic as fuck. And also playing Mario Golf in a game with color because I've just been addicted to Mario Golf lately and I don't know what the fuck, why the fuck that is. Uh, when Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out, I, I, a lot of shit is going to go to the wayside for sure. But for right now, my big general picture, big focus is on recording Mario Golf Toaster 2 for you guys. Why am I recording this game? Like I said, I love this game to pieces. This is not a let's play. This is probably something that's going to be added in the playlist so I can look back at it later and watch it and then just evaluate myself on how I recorded this game just based off of how much fun I'm going to have. So, first off, with Mario Golf Toaster Tour, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try and provide as much content as possible with this game. Like I said, it's not a let's play. I'm just trying to stress that. It's not a let's play. I'm just going to play this game whenever I fucking feel like it and just go with it. So, right now... Um, based off the menu alone, we have one player, two player, three player, four players game is allotted up to four players and there's a lot of different modes you can do. What I really like about this game, you don't really need to have four controllers to play the game. You can just have four players and then pass the controller each time you want someone else to play. So you can have one controller, but four players, which I think is pretty neat. So like, 
most games that require you to take turns should be like that, but I'm pretty sure this is one of those only games where you actually have to do that. Lessons, if you're new to the game, continue. And I think the only continue thing I have is nothing. Okay, cool. And options and the link thing, which is super cool. Let me show you guys something real quick. No, I don't need lessons. I'm cool, Toad. I got this. So I just got this game back um, from back home. Haven't have not played this in a while too, and I didn't have none of the characters on this memory card that I had got for myself. So I have to get all the star characters back again. I think the next one I have to do is Mario. So we'll, I'll get Mario star character eventually. But super neat thing, right? I have the Game Boy Advance characters, who I never got to experience playing as when I was a little kid. And I think this is super fucking cool because one, they have pretty much the same same stats as they do in the Game Boy Advance game, Mario Golf Advance Tour for the Game Boy Advance, which I have that as well, obviously, or else I would not have these characters. And I don't know how it works. You get them different color palettes. I think you just have to delete your game on, because like what happened to me is I restarted the game after I realized I can increase different stats other than just the drive or the distance whatever so i just restarted and then these characters stayed here but then i got new versions of neil and ella who i named chugs ella who i found that i can rename later but that's super neat uh i'm probably going to be using them just because for right now i kind of want to get experience points that i can pass on to advance to which i'm playing on the side which i will be doing gameplay of that too don't worry about that but I will be using, hold up, I'm actually gonna select my clubs too. This is all super cool. You can select your clubs as well, because in Mario Golf Advance Tour, you're able to like get different clubs at, I forgot, it's, I think it's just the club exchange, I'm gonna call it that, where you can get like tickets to exchange for different clubs. So the three clubs that I have right now is the POW Club, Super Straight and the Straight. POW Club allows you to hit super far distances. Your distance is increased, but I'm pretty sure there's a drawback to this. Um, yeah, so you'll have a, it increases your draw for what it looks like. Um, yeah, so having this increases your draw. If you use the straight, looks like it lowers your control, but you have a straighter shot. And the super straight is going to straighten your shot all the way, but your control will be good. I think nothing wrong with this actually. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna have the pow just so we can hit some pretty decent distances off the tee. Gonna have a straight iron, and we're gonna have. We're just gonna do super straight for both of these. I think that'd be alright. Oh god, no. Hold up. Uh I really don't want Neil to have a super intense draw. That is like the one thing I just don't like. Um, you know, we'll just have straight. Um super straight and then pow. We'll, we'll just invert it. How's that? Yeah, that's a little bit better. I can deal with that. We're going to do the tournament mode and you see I've already unlocked most of these courses but I have not gotten a lot of trophies with Neil. So we're going to knock that out. Um, I already know this part is getting a little bit lengthy now but you know I don't care. It's whatever. So I want to give a quick shout out for one to one of my one of my favorite YouTubers I like to watch whenever it comes to getting inspiration to do games. Um, Shadow Mario. I forgot the number. I want to say it's XLI. But he doesn't really do a lot of videos these days. From what my buddy told me, he's a school teacher. So, I mean, if something else takes priority over YouTube, it's clearly understandable. I'm only moving like this just because I don't want Blue to fucking annoy me. But uh, with Mario Golf Toaster Tour, if you've never played it, the way it works is you have this bar in the bottom that you guys are looking at right now. Whenever I press the A button to swing, my gauge will fill up, which you guys will see is easier to see versus me actually explaining it, but my gauge will fill up, and once the gauge goes all the way to the end, depending on where I want my ball to be at, based on this ticker, I can actually stop it there, and then that will classify it as a nice shot, as long as I put the A button, or the gauge, once it goes all the way up, back down here. So it's kind of hard to explain this off top, so I'm just gonna probably do a nice little swing in a second, but we're able to do manual shots and auto shots as well. Auto shots kind of fuck us over, just because they, the ticker like lands in a rando spot. We're never guaranteed to have a nice shot all the time if we do an auto shot. And manual shots, we're able to do top spin, super top spin, back spin, and super back spin shots. Um, bottom right hand with Toad is the lie of the ball. The lower the number, the better the ball location is gonna be. We can change our shots to normal and power, at least off the tee. And we have a selection to several different clubs. Putter, sand wedge, I do not know what an A wedge is. I'm, I actually play golf in real life, so I, I, 
I don't really know like what most of these clubs are, but I do know the Woods, Irons, Pitching Wedge. I just do not know what an A Wedge is. That is a new one. But all talking aside, lack of two Valley, super easy course. We're gonna hit, go ahead and knock this off the tee real quick. Pretty familiar with Mario Golf, to be honest with you. I've been playing Mario Golf since I was, almost I was like five or six years old easily. Um, used to always play this joint with my dad a lot back in the day. We had a lot of fun playing together for sure. It was just a really, it was a blast playing this. Am I already fucking up? Okay, we did good. All I needed was a top spin. Really good times playing this with my dad back in the day for sure. Uh, my dad was really good at the game. He was able to get characters like Shadow Mario, who I don't even know to this day I'm really able to get. He could get Bowser Jr. He was able to get all the star characters. He got all the birdie badges. And my dad loves golf too, so he's just kind of up there in age, so. He really can't experience playing as much as he really wants to, but it's all right. He watches a lot of golf, and whenever I tell him about me playing golf, he lights up a lot, which is honestly really dope. All right, so the light of balls on two. I've yet to still kind of understand that. Based on me like watching Shadow Mario's videos, I'm slowly kind of understanding like what that is, but at the same time, I still don't. All right, so. Key thing in the game, guys, for those of you who don't know, you can actually look at the angle of the camera whenever you're putting, and that's gonna tell you literally how good or how close you are to making it. Even with that camera angle alone, you'll still fucking miss, but it'll just be like a very close, very, very just nice touch. I, I really hate this hole, just cause it lands like straight down, but we'll see how I do. I think I'll be all right. Okay, increase, go, 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 go. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, it was so close. Most of the part threes are like super fucking annoying, especially like there's one on blooper. Uh, what is it? Is it? It's not blooper bay. It's uh, something else. Blooper. Blooper open. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I really hate that one so fucking much. It's like it's like hole three, I think. Hole two and hole three are like the dumbest fucking holes in blooper open. Just because like hole two is like a part five and you start lower, you have to hit it up like a little mountain top or whatever. Right, let me focus on this real quick. You gotta hit it up a mountain top and then you gotta hit it right the fuck back down. Like what type of shit? Nice. You, guys, you don't know how bad I'm gonna be itching just to like see the ball just chip in. So uh, for this little gameplay sesh that we got going here with these with this game that I'm gonna be doing for a while, I have no end goal whatsoever. It's just really to just play as much of the game as possible. If this turns into a let's play, you guys classify as a let's play by all means. Do whatever makes you feel comfortable. I'm not gonna call it a let's play though, but I'm just gonna try make an excuse to like actually play this so that way I can like level up Neil and Ella in the game whenever I go back to play. Um, I actually do have almost all the characters on the GBA version as well. I'm only missing Bowser. That's because I don't have 81 gym, gym badges. I was about to say gym badges. 81 birdie badges on this game yet. And I'm super close. So I wouldn't doubt it if I do it during this play session. I, I will be playing like for a minute. This going to be separate parts recorded. So another thing I can talk about real quick is if you guys look at the T, right? I don't know how exactly... I can point the camera up. I don't think I can do that. No, I can't do that. Okay, cool. So if you look at the green for a second or you look at the hole, you can kind of see these lines right here in the center that are pushing from left to right. That is basically the lie of the green. It's basically telling you which way the green is moving. So basically it's moving from left to right. In this situation, the entire grid is white, which means this is an entire level field. If the grid was blue in certain spots, that means that you're actually going down a hill. If it's red, that means you have to put a little bit more kick into the ball, and you actually need to hit a little bit harder since you're going up a hill. And like I said, these lines dictate which way the green is going. So here, you can kind of see right here, straight ahead is going left to right, but since it's white, it's not really crazy. It's just a slight little push, so I really just don't have to move the ball over that much. And also another little tidbit, which I don't think Jack knew about when I was playing with him and Jamie. If it is raining, you need to hit your ball a little bit harder. Just so that way, I guess water stops friction or stops 
spheres from rolling super fast. I don't know. Makes sense, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, um, playing as Buzz, Buzz, Buzz is your enemy. Playing as Neil and Ella in this game is actually really nice. Um, I do have Mario Golf on the Game Boy Color. I've just never been able to get all the characters on the game on the Nintendo 64 copy at all. Uh, just because I've played it, like the 64 version of Mario Golf, but I've never owned it on a console. I've only had it for a virtual console. That's it, which is kind of depressing considering you can't get those characters. Um, make this right, cool. um, for Mario Kart 64 which Mario Golf 64 which sucks is on the virtual console even though Mario Golf on the Game Boy Color is on the 3DS you can't transfer data between the two which is actually really stupid um, and I say that because Nintendo is able to like move those games or have it to where you can connect between those two games because if I recall, Pokemon Gold and Silver, you were able to connect X and Y with all of that shit. Oh my gosh, we're that far. Alright, so this is a perfect example. You see the red and shit? That means it's drastically going from left to right. So if I were to put, that means like, okay, cool. And in the, in the holes like right here, that means I kind of need to move my like cursor a little bit like this way. Just so I can have some type of competition. But right now, the most of the grid is white. So I'm going to go with that. So I don't miss this. I'm right, good. Yep. So, um, I think that's really big shit. I, I was talking about something. Yeah. So I never owned Mario Golf like the cartridge of it. I only had Virtual Console. Therefore, of course, I never had access to getting all the characters in the game, which sucks. Like when it comes to just like that's the only way to get certain characters in the game, it, it totally blows. But it is what it is. I still do love Mario Golf on the Game Boy Color. I haven't been able to get back to playing Mario Golf on a 64, only because I've been busy with other stuff and um, work, and on top of just editing videos, doing videos, recording sessions, all that shit, and uh, also backing up John with some videos of his own as well. It's kind of been a kind of been busy for me to be honest with you, but. I still survive and conquer, still prayed up, still doing everything properly, but uh, eventually I'll get back to playing Mario Golf. I was really addicted to it for the time. I actually um, was playing it probably two days ago, and I have beaten so far a lot of the shit in the game. I think I've gotten up to probably the Lynx, which is the fourth course in the Advance Tour and their rivalry. Uh, Neil and Buzz. Super cool. Nice shot. And like, I guess if someone was asking me, like, hey, what's your full review? Like, is this your favorite GameCube game? I was thinking about that today, funny enough, and I was like, honestly, Mario Golf is like the best game on GameCube. It's super fun. Like, nice you just look at all the, the cool shit that you can do in this game and just nice. describing the game as a whole. It's super fun because what other multiplayer game allows you to just pass the controller between all two to four of you? <clears throat> I mean, I just think this is really neat. <clears throat> I also saw like a Mario Golf for the uh, Game Boy Advance. You're able to do that too. You just pass on the Game Boy Advance, which I think that's so cool. Like, I don't know. I just really like the game. <clears throat> Golf is a very interesting sport to me. I really suck at it, but I have my fun when I can. So the lie is gonna go from the right to the left. I'm going to shoot right here. Nice I'm pretty sure that's not gonna land properly. Where, where is this going? Oh my goodness nice. gracious. We can go for par. God forbid. Oh my god. God forbid I even try this. Oh, I was close. Uh, I actually got a putt today, and I was like, holy fuck, I actually made that shit. Alright guys, so for right now, we're not quite at the turn, because I kind of passed that already. We're going to go ahead and stop here. We'll do the continued back nine holes of Lakitu Valley in part two. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video, and subscribe for more Mario Golf, and also other videos that are featured on this channel as well. I'll see you guys next time.